welcome to my channel Emmanuel Arts. My name is Priyanka and in today's tutorial we are going to do mosaic painting with construction paper. This is the project that we are going to work on today and I will guide you through the process step by step. So first thing we are going to look is what materials we require. For the painting itself I'm using um, a foam board. Um, it is 15 inches by 20 inches in size but you, you can get larger ones too and um, I would suggest you get Elmer's foam board they work fine they work better than the regular foam boards then the other thing you need is Elmer's glue a pair of scissors pencils a plastic brush um, I would suggest have uh, at least a couple of extra extra plastic brush just because uh, sometimes it this is a longer process so sometimes I forget to wash my brush when I am about to wrap up for the day and do something else and leave my project uh, for the next day I forgot to forget to wash my brush and then all the bristles they spray and they break so I would ra I would suggest that you have a couple of extra brushes handy and the most important thing we need for this project is construction papers. You can always use scraps because for this project I used all I used everything from my scraps and I can say I didn't go through a whole sheet. So these were already scraps and then I cut from them so I still did not finish the whole sheet so it does not require that much of construction paper. So if you have a lot of scraps you can go ahead and use the, the scraps and it would be a good use of those scraps that are lying around and have no projects to do. So let's jump into the tutorial and let, let your creativity flow. This is the drawing that I'm going to use for today's tutorial. Uh, you can draw anything that you like and every all the, all the paintings will look equally beautiful. So let's jump into the tutorial. I went ahead and started doing the outline of the painting. All you need to do is take a black construction paper and cut it into thin strips. It doesn't matter if they are not straight. I just randomly cut it. Sometimes it's thick, sometimes it's thin. It doesn't matter. Then you take a plastic brush and some glue, some yeah, white glue and all you do is apply the glue with the brush onto the lines that you have drawn. I don't cut the uh, lines to the size initially. I just let, I just stick it and then cut it later on. So just stick. the strip of construction paper then what I do is I let it dry for some time so by the time it's drying I take another I start gluing another strips that's why I cut a lot of strips that makes it easier for me to it makes it easier and faster the whole of this painting took less than one construction paper one black construction paper for outlining so it doesn't use that much paper either so then take another strip of construction paper and stick it okay and then I will take a pair of scissors, lift the first one and cut it off where, I need, where it needs to be cut off. And that's, that's as simple as it gets. Then for the round one, for round it's easy too, you can just apply glue again. Apply glue in little part, take the strip and just maneuver the strip according to 
the design then you can once you have reached where you ended the glue you apply more glue and continue you do not need to apply glue in the whole of the circle because by the time you reach the end of it it might be dried out and you will have to reapply okay. so I let it dry and let's cut this one off and I will be back after I finish the whole of the outline and to show you how to how I fill up the inside of the painting so I went ahead and completed the oh I completed the outline I just forgot to cut the strip here so I previously I forgot to show you how to how I cut my construction construction strips for the black outlining so basically I take the construction paper, it doesn't matter whether it's horizontal or vertical and just take a pair of scissors and cut strips. I don't even bother drawing straight lines, just cut randomly, thin, thick, it doesn't matter. It They are uneven, which unevenness makes it looks, look better. So I just cut strips, it doesn't matter how thick or thin they are or they don't have to be perfect okay so this is how you can cut it horizontal if you want shorter and vertical if you want it longer so this is how you cut the strips for the outline now for the for the inside of the filling up I'm cutting another construction paper for for my drawing purposes, I'm using um, red, yellow, and orange for the part that I'm going to show you. And all I did was I clip. I used a paper clip uh, to clip uh, to attach all three together, so I can cut an even strip for all three of them. It doesn't still doesn't matter how thick or thin it is. It's just that. I want them to be cut all together. It also saves time. I just take, I used a paper clip to clip them all together. And then I'm cutting a strip, a little, a little thicker than the outline because we are going to make squares out of it. So I'm just going to, and you can, as you can see, I'm not using any new construction paper. These are previously used. I used it for another project. So I just cut strips. Then I take all three of them uh, together okay. and I put them all three, all three together. It doesn't matter if they're lined or not, but I try my best and then just cut them in small squares. And again, there is no precise size for it. It just make sure they are not too different from each other they should look similar not perfect this perfectionness perfection will we don't need perfection for this joy painting we just need to cut them randomly so just keep on cutting and cut as many as you want i i always cut when how much ever i need okay so um, i'll come back and start showing you how to paint how to paint with this construction paper okay so i have uh, i cut the construction paper strips into little small squares and all you have to do is take some glue on the brush again and start applying anywhere you want to start with so i'm going i'm, I'm going to go ahead and start applying on the face of the sun always make sure you cover a little part and little part with the glue and then start applying the squares you can adjust it with a toothpick or your fingers i always use my nails because that's that's easier for me and what i'm doing is i'm alternating between the three colors that i'm i'm going to use for my painting uh, 
for my for the sun of for the sun so i'm just applying more glue and all you have to make sure is that no two same colors are not next to each other so even here you you can apply red or orange but not yellow right here so and it's not like if if you have to you can but make sure that it's not like it's not the same in one line sometimes it's okay because it's a whole painting as a whole and not just one part so it will get covered up but not all the time or it will give you stripes so just and i always pick up the small squares with a little bit of glue that's on my brush and apply makes it easier and faster and it's orange you can use as many colors as you want you can also use just one single color and that will be okay too uh, but i wanted to make make it look a little more um interesting so i am using three colors also you always go in a straight line do not follow the the outline we will add more we can you can always add more strips on the top but always go straight make them in a straight line okay when you reach the end and your square doesn't fit all you need to do is i crease my my square with uh with my nails and you can do that with the toothpick too but i think nails are easier and faster i'll go ahead and trim where my nail mark the paper i'll just trim it with the scissor and i'll not throw that uh, little piece away maybe it'll help me somewhere else and just apply some more glue there and take the piece of paper and apply it so you can trim the um, squares accordingly but keep uh, but that will help you adjust ac according to your drawing and then you just go up a little bit and apply colors okay so when i come here uh, my square is going up here up out here so i just crease it here peel the square off and when it's not yet dry it's easy it'll come off easily but once it dries the glue dries it will not come off easily so again i'm going i crease the corner of my square i'm going to cut it a little bit again so i'll i'll save that piece too somewhere i'll use that so just apply and always make sure you leave some space between the squares and then take red put it here crease it again and take my scissors again cut it off a little bit and use the piece that is required always make sure you add more glue when you pick it up because then it will not stick again and i you can also adjust it with the back of your brush so that's how you do this painting i will come back with the final painting and make sure that i've covered i've colored everything and i'll show you how it looks so here is the completed painting of paper mosaic and it took me a week or a week and a half to complete this project but it did give me a sense of relaxation it 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 took me into this meditative uh, meditative mode while doing it and it just took me out of all the thoughts and everything and just let, made me focus on this painting i am so happy with this painting this is by far my favorite project 
and how these days the adult coloring book and Zentangle give people a peace and sense of relaxation and take them away from all the world's frustrations. This painting did that for me and I am really happy with this painting. I only worked say two to three hours a day on this uh, painting but but it just it just made my day and I am simply in love with this project. I also have another painting which I have made it on a larger uh, foam board which I'm going to show you. So I'll come back with the larger painting and which also suggests that you are not limited to the smaller foam board. You can use a larger board to do your paintings and it is amazing. It is an amazing joy and I hope you you will you will enjoy this too so i'll come back with the uh, with the, my second painting uh in a few seconds so this is the second painting actually this is the first painting that i made with the for with the technique of mosaic construction paper and then uh, it inspired this painting inspired me to do the one that i showed you on the tutorial so here in this um painting i have used different types of it's different shapes of paper, construction paper like i cut uh, for the background i used strips and for the leaves i used um, random shapes and the same way with the bamboo trees i used random shapes for the hair of buddha i used a circle punch to cut out circles from the black paper black construction paper and then covered it with um covered the hair with uh, the black circles and for the face I used the squares face and the body and for the wall in the background I used um, rectangles and for the moon I used um, straight strips so you can use different shapes and different techniques I even used um, the I even cut just uh, small thin strips to show the branches for the bamboo trees and for the flower I cut the petal I used the petal punch to cut out and made the flower so you can use different shapes to if you for your for your painting it is not necessary and you are not you're not restrained or limited to just um, the squares so this is one of the other projects I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and do give me a thumbs up if you loved my tutorial please subscribe to my channel for more fun projects and get get your foam boards and construction scrap construction paper and let your creativity flow and do any painting that you want you are not limited to just a few things you can sky is the limit for this thing and you you can paint anything that you want Please do subscribe to my channel, give me thumbs up uh, if you like my tutorial and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for more updates. Thank you and have a good day.